All right, do not be surprised if we see a bunch of Pokemon card reprints coming in the future. Now, I don't know for sure. This is all speculation, but based off of history, uh, it really wouldn't surprise me. As I'm looking over uh, a Pokemon card distribution list, and we're going to go through this in in-stock list uh, a little bit so you can see what's available on each set release, really since uh, Silver Tempest. Silver Tempest was the last main series set that came out in the Sword and Shield block, and then you had Crown Zenith, and then it started the Scarlet and Violet block, and we've had several set releases since then. So we're only going to focus on the stuff that are really tied to a set release. But if you remember uh, in the winter of 2020, 21. When we got to a point where there really weren't many booster boxes left in stock, it seemed like things were really starting to jump up in price. Pokemon reprinted a ton of stuff unexpectedly. We knew there was going to be additional waves of uh, Fusion Strike. We knew there was going to be a second wave of Chilling Rain. We knew there was going to be uh, a third wave of Evolving Skies. But what we didn't know was that there was going to be Darkness Ablaze booster boxes, Vivid Voltage booster boxes, a bunch of ETBs hitting the market. And it really brought the market down so far. If you were around at that time, can you can you imagine this? Uh, Evolving Skies booster boxes fell to sub $100 prices at that point in time. Because there was just so much, it was a constant race to the bottom, and because Fusion Strike wasn't selling very well upon release, uh, Fusion Strike was selling, you know, $80, $85 for almost a year after release. Uh, Battle Styles didn't do too well, and a lot of uh, LGSs, brick and mortar stores, were like, we gotta recuperate some of this money because there's been so much product, we had to pay all these invoices, we're broke. Uh, So we're selling Evolving Skies booster boxes for $100, uh, sub $100 on eBay in some locations. It was absolutely nuts. And we are getting to the point now, uh, looking over the in-stock list from Pokemon card distributors, where it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a a lot of reprints come at the end of the year. And the reason behind it is because there's so much excitement that is really uh, being focused on the new trainer Pokemon uh, that that is hopefully coming out in March, uh, the Team Rocket set that is hopefully coming out in May, the Terrestrial Festival, which is hopefully coming out in January, the Surging Sparks, which is hopefully coming out in October, all these new set releases and all the focus and attention on that. That, uh, kind of uh, deviates away from the current stock. So I could see it going either way. You can let me know in the comment section down below, but I think this is very interesting to look at because we've seen this happen in the past. Now, I don't think personally uh, that they're going to reprint everything, but it wouldn't surprise me if there was a small restock or a reprint of some of these booster boxes, some of the capstone products when it comes to a set release. We're not going to talk about all the 10 million bajillion quantillion, I don't even know what a number is, uh, that would correlate to all the collection boxes, the starter decks, all the uh, ancillary products that release alongside set releases or uh, when there's not a new set release coming. We know Stellar Crown is coming uh, in a few weeks, but there's also collection boxes that are coming out in a month and collection boxes that are coming out. There's just so many of them. We're not going to focus on that. There's a ton of that stuff uh, that is still available and they do not sell very well at all. But we're going to start with Silver Tempest because this is the last Sword and Shield product uh, outside of Crown Zenith that is still available at a lot of distributors uh, that you can still find. So I looked at a couple distributors here. They still had this product on uh, their their in-stock list that you could order. So here's the Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box. We're looking at a year's worth of data right here on TCG Player. You can see at one point in time last year, its high point was $38.42. It did get reprinted at one point. It got restocked at one point. It dropped all the way down to $26.74. That's a killer deal uh, for Elite Trainer Box. That is shipped on TCG Player, $26.74. I cannot imagine. You are losing uh, a good $10, $12 on each Elite Trainer Box. $26.74 is basically wholesale price by itself, not including taxes, fees, shipping costs, labor costs, uh, products, uh, materials, things like, like that's crazy to me. Uh, $33.50 is the current price, which is pretty close to a break even, maybe a, a dollar or two profit for LGS stores. That's where it's currently sitting right now. So Silver Tempest uh, Elite Trainer Box is still in stock, but that's not the only Silver Tempest item uh, that is still in stock. There are still Build and Battle Stadiums and Build and Battle Kits. So the Build and Battle Kits, pre-release kits is what they used to be called. These are what you get when you go to a pre-release event. So in a couple of weeks, if you have haven't already looked in your area, uh, there is going to be Stellar Crown pre-releases. This gives you first access to opening up Stellar Crown before release day. Uh, sometimes two weeks before release day. A lot of local game stores will have pre-release events that you can go to uh, even on Thursday nights at midnight. Uh, so you can really enjoy the new set, look things over. You play in a little 40 card uh, 40 card match against an opponent. It's just for fun. Uh, you learn the game a little bit better and you learn the new cards, uh, which is super exciting. And you get build and battle kit. You get a build and battle kit upon your registry Usually it's like $25 to register for a pre-release. I highly recommend it. It's a ton of fun. Go to Pokemon.com, type in your zip code, look 
four pre-release events. I guarantee you, you will love it. It also gives you first access to the new Stellar Crown cards, uh, which are coming out on September 13th. So that is right around the corner. But uh, Build and Battle kits, still available. Now, Silver Tempest, Build and Battle Stadiums, also still available. They don't make those anymore, right? Build and Battle Stadiums uh, have gone kaputsi. Uh, I think it was Paradox Rift was the last set where Build and Battle Stadiums were still a thing. Then I think with Temporal Forces, uh, they stopped making them. Just weren't as popular. Evolving Skies ones, super popular after that. Uh, not as popular, and this was more of a way, Build and Battle Stadiums were more of a way that you could have kind of a pre-release event at home. It came with two Build and Battle decks, or Build and Battle kits, and then a few extra cards, a few extra packs, uh, plus uh, energy cards, things like that, so that way you could kind of make pre-releases at home uh, at the time. This one had one at one time fallen to about $32, $33, very close to wholesale after shipping. Uh, now it's spiked back up a little bit, closing into that MSRP, still a little bit off of MSRP, at $38.39. So those three products still available for Silver Tempest. After that, you're done. Uh, nothing else for Silver Tempest uh, outside of those products. If we look at Crown Zenith, now this is the one that's gotten a lot of noise, right? There's a new exclusive product that came out can't remember if it's GameStop or Sam, Sam's Club uh, that have the Crown Zenith product. Uh, this is not available, uh, whatever it's called. I can't even remember what it's called, but it's not available at LGS. So it's not going to be on our in-stock list. This was not made available. It was only made available to uh, exclusive stores. So the only Crown Zenith product that's still available <laughs> features more Peko, and that's it. So there was two different more Peko. Uh, there's a more Peko V Union box, and then one that's very similar to the more Peko V Union box, which is like the Treasurer's box or something along that nature. So uh, the one on the top is a little bit more expensive, despite the fact that it comes with less packs. You're only getting about five packs in that one, currently selling for about $37.40. And the one on the bottom is the one that uh, released later. I believe that one comes with seven packs, but it does not come with the play mat. Uh, and that one's selling for about $30.30. This is it when it comes to Crown Zenith. There's no more Elite Trainer boxes. There's no more Ultra Pre or Premium collections. Uh, there's no more uh, Galarian Bird tins. Uh, there's nothing else. Nothing else available outside of these. Now, that's not to say that they won't restock at some point in time. They printed a lot of Crown Zenith. Uh, and the popularity for Crown Zenith is going to continue to rise over time. Uh, over a long time coming. Uh, so still good deals out there for Crown Zenith. Uh, definitely starting to get to the point where it's getting to uh, be sunsetted. Like we just had another product that came out. Uh, but I guarantee you, we are uh, we are experiencing less inventory uh, than we ever have with Crown Zenith, especially because people love opening it so much. So this is it uh, when it comes to Crown Zenith uh, as far as what's available at Pokemon Card Distributors. Then we move into Scarlet and Violet. Now, Scarlet and Violet Base, they printed a lot of Scarlet and Violet Base. They didn't know what demand looked like. Demand switched a little bit when uh, a lot of people realized that pull rates changed. The Miriam was not as expensive as a lot of people thought it was going to be because it was a lot easier to pull than what people assumed. And you can still order booster boxes at distribution. Uh, booster boxes are still available uh, at distribution at some distributors. Not every distributor still has Scarlet and Violet available, but some. Uh, so you still have uh, Scarlet and Violet booster boxes right there. You can see starting to climb a little bit, sitting at $94.17 currently at one point in time. This was a sub $80 booster box. And the important thing to remember is with Scarlet and Violet, uh, MSRP changed, which also meant that wholesale cost changed. You went from $140 a booster box MSRP up to $160 a booster box MSRP. You went from uh, up Upper 70s for a booster box, low 80s for a booster box wholesale, up to upper 80s, uh, low 90s for a booster box wholesale. So they people were selling a lot of Scarlet and Violet booster boxes at a loss because, again, it was a race to the bottom. They needed to recuperate a lot of what they put into it so that way they could pay for uh, future set releases and things like that. So because of that, Scarlet and Violet base booster boxes were selling for below $80, below wholesale cost at one point in time. Now starting to climb a little bit, but still at some distributors uh, available. Uh, uh, Elite Trainer Boxes, still very available when it comes to the two different variants. So this is the Coridon one that we're looking at right here. The Maridon one is a little bit more expensive. Uh, but if you look, it's very nice that uh, TCG players started putting this little bar graph in the bottom here. Quantities way down. So the Scarlet and Violet booster box at the top there, if you look at the little blue bar that you can see in the middle, uh, how far down it goes, there is not a whole lot of interest in this set right now. So if you are somebody who is selling, uh, looking to order maybe a little bit from distribution, don't expect it to move off the shelves, even at cheap pricing, because it's just not moving very well. There's not a whole lot of interest for it. People are focusing more on Twilight Masquerade. Uh, they're focusing more on the most recent set releases, and they're probably saving their money for the upcoming set releases uh, that are coming soon. Uh, outside of that, you still have Build and Battle kits 
you still have pre-release kits, which are different. So a pre-release kit is a box uh, that you can order from distribution. It's got a booster box in it, and then it also has 10 of those build and battle kits in it. So a pre-release kit is more designed uh, to be ordered by a brick-and-mortar store that has pre-release events as opposed to the build and battle kits, which are made uh, basically for anybody a couple weeks after a set releases. Uh, and then Build and Battle Stadium still available for Scarlet and Violet Base. Obsidian Flames, there are booster boxes still out there. Now, this set has gained a lot of traction. Again, still low quantities for a lot of this stuff. You can see the blue bar graph really dipping down there, almost into, you know, 20... 25 boxes a day, not a whole lot, but the price is starting to climb a little bit because availability is starting to shrink. Obsidian Flames is going to be a fairly popular set for a long time, despite the pull rates being easy, because it's just Charizard all over the place with four different Charizards that you can pull from the box. I forget what it is, but it's like one out of 47 packs is going to pull a Charizard of some sort, whether it be the regular art, uh, the full art, the gold one, or the special illustration rare. And because of that, starting to climb up a little bit in price, you can see uh, sitting at $112.60 cents right now which is up about twenty dollars from where it was in january and continue to trend upward i will say that obsidian flames booster box is the only distributors that i saw that still have them in stock they do limit them and there is a little bit of an upcharge on it so these are are starting to disappear a little bit now they do have elite trainer boxes here uh, as you can see elite trainer box is currently sitting at thirty five dollars and thirty three cents those are still available um build booster bundles are still available build and battle boxes are still available and build and battle stadiums are still available all right sorry for the confusion on this i don't know what happened with my pal day evolve slide for some reason i must have deleted it so i just re-added it and we're going a little bit out of order here but pal day evolved is the one the one pokemon card set from the scarlet and violet generation that's really low on stock right now so this is uh pal day evolved elite trainer boxes there's no booster boxes that you can order even limited amounts even at a higher rate uh they're just gone so uh you can see the elite trainer box starting to trickle up in price a little bit there are still available and there's no limits currently enforced on the elite trainer box sitting at 37 dollars 47 currently but pal day Evolve, probably the fan favorite when it comes to the sets in the Scarlet and Violet generation. Uh, as far as the main series sets go, I think the half sets, specialty sets, Scarlet and Violet 151 probably takes the cake for that one. But Pelday Evolved, Build and Battle Kits still available. Uh, so that means booster packs, loose booster packs will still be available for quite some time. And three pack blisters can still be found at wholesale pricing uh, for a lot of stores. Uh, Elite Trainer Boxes as well, booster boxes, not so much. And again, once we start getting to a point where they're limiting what you can order for Obsidian Flames and there's no Pelday Evolved, Evolved. That means two out of the three sets so far in the Scarlet and Violet generation are very difficult to get a hold of uh, when it comes to booster boxes. The capstone product. Scarlet and Violet 151 we have already talked about on this channel in great significance, uh, in great detail. There is really nothing that you can order right now. You can get poster collections. They are limited. They are above MSRP. You can get booster bundles. They are limited. They are above MSRP. Now, we have already heard uh, that there are going to be reprints, at least for the booster bundles, at some point in the future. So, we we do expect more of that. I don't know if there's going to be Elite Trainer Boxes. I don't know if there's going to be other ancillary products from Scarlet and Violet 151. The only thing I have heard for sure is Booster Bundles. But I have also heard that that is going to be a limited amount, a smaller number. Now, that could change. Pokemon could recognize the demand. They could be like, okay, there's going to be a lot more demand because of the sets that are coming out next year. Let's get more of this out there. Let's fill this restock up pretty good. Uh, and we're going to pump out a lot of product all at the same time. Kind of what they've done in the past. And they do it around the holiday holiday season because that's when the interest level uh, is is big as far as the buying power goes so scarlet and violet 151 extremely low at distribution we should get some relief eventually i don't know if it's going to be enough to squash the demand though that is going to be the problem paradox rift is probably the set that there is the most availability when it comes to the scarlet and violet generation so we still had a lot of scarlet and violet base booster boxes paradox rift kind of the same thing you can see it's starting to creep up a little bit in price but not much it's leveled out a lot over the last few months sitting at 101 dollars and 14 cents currently there are still quite a few elite trainer boxes left at distribution that one has dipped back a little bit again two different variants when it comes to the elite trainer box and then you can see on the right hand side there's still three pack blisters there's still booster bundles there's still build and battle kits there's still build and battle stadiums there's still check lane blisters and there's still pre-release kits the one thing that you don't see a whole lot of anymore is sleeved booster packs you don't see a whole lot of sleeve booster packs
packs as far as availability goes for really any set release. That's what a lot of stores order alongside booster boxes. Uh, so still booster boxes of Paradox Rift, quite a few of them. Uh, but outside of that, that's pretty much it when it comes to Scarlet and Violet. So you've got a lot of Paradox Rift and you've got a lot of Scarlet and Violet base. But other than that, there's just not a whole lot out there. When it comes to Paldean Fates, uh, you just have the premium collections. That's it. There's really no Elite Trainer boxes, which again is kind of the capstone product. Not really any booster bundles, not really any tins. You have the premium collection, which definitely helps out give access to people for packs. Uh, but when it comes to wholesale items that stores can order to then, you know, tr try and sell to the end consumer, there's just not a whole lot of availability. Now, it is also worth noting that if you look at the quantity of sales on Scarlet and Violet uh, Paldean Fates, right there at the bottom, that blue bar graph, still very low as far as quantity of sales go. So not a whole lot of interest in Paldean Fates. It seems like maybe they did a good job of meeting demand when it comes to Paldean Fates. If you look at the market on Paldean Fates, it's very level. Uh, it hasn't gone too crazy, which is really nice. Uh, but this is pretty much it when it comes to Paldean Fates. Now, there's three different variants, obviously. Obviously, you have the Quackleville, you have the Skeledurge, uh, and you have the other one, which I can't even think of off the top of my head. But uh, there are still three different uh, premium collections available for Paldean Fates. And then we've got Temporal Forces. Uh, Temporal Forces, all you have is just... Uh, Sorry, Mio Scarada. All you have is just the Elite Trainer Box right now when it comes to the Capstone products. The Booster Boxes are pretty much gone. Uh, but again, quantity very, very low. So if you look at the amount of sales that they have for the Elite Trainer Box, you're looking at basically single digits on a daily basis on TCG Player. Not a whole lot of movement on these. You can still order the Elite Trainer Box. Booster Boxes are gone. Not even limited. Not even above MSRP or above market. They are starting to creep up a little bit in price. If you looked at the Booster Boxes for uh, Temporal Forces, they're hitting that $110 mark right now. They do still have three pack blisters and they do still have build and battle, battle kits along with check lane blisters uh, but that's pretty much it when it comes to temporal forces and twilight masquerade we've talked about this set as well booster boxes approaching 130 dollars they do still have elite trainer boxes in stock now the quantity is a little bit better than what we've seen from some of these other sets but it also is a relatively new pokemon card set so that makes sense still relatively low as well i think a lot of people are just kind of saving money biding their time waiting for the next release uh because there's a lot more excitement for stellar crown a lot more excitement for Surging Sparks, and then really the sets that are coming out next year is what people are really excited about. Uh, still building battle kits, still check lane blisters, and still pre-release kits. After that, Shrouded Fable just came out, so we're not really looking at that uh, as far as what contents are still available at distribution. I kind of wanted to highlight the main sets that we've had released, but the fact that booster boxes are very low is a very interesting thing uh, because usually Pokemon likes to keep booster boxes in stock, and we've seen it before a few years ago where Pokemon reprinted a lot of them all at the same time to kind of fix the market now that we're running out of time the big difference now is you don't have these giant upswings in price when it comes to booster boxes from the scarlet and violet generation so uh palde evolves still available under msrp obsidian flames obviously still well under msrp same thing with twilight masquerade and same thing with uh temporal forces and that might be the reason we don't see a giant restock a giant reprint of a lot of booster boxes uh but the reason we might is because there's just so limited availability across the board and now might be the time mo moving into the holiday season before all these giant set releases come out uh, that Pokemon focuses a lot on that especially because we already know we're getting some more Scarlet and Violet 151 products so uh, interested to hear what you guys think uh, if you want to leave me a comment down below uh, if you enjoyed the content please hit that subscribe button uh, thank you so much just for taking the time to watch like I said leave a comment leave a like it goes a really long way for the algorithm but most importantly I love you guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch listen to me ramble this is all just fascinating to me I hope it's fascinating to you as well uh, so thank you so much for everything we'll talk to you again on Tuesday with another video. Until next time, peace!